Let's take a couple of moments and we'll check out the shortcut menu and we'll take a look at the home screen on Pioneer's next head units. Even though your particular receiver may have buttons on the side or across the bottom like this one, the on-screen operation in this demonstration is identical for the following Pioneer NEX models. 4200 NEX and 4201 NEX, 5200 NEX and 5201 NEX, 6200 NEX, 6201 NEX, 7200 NEX, 7201 NEX, 8200 NEX, and AVIC 8201 NEX. So the first thing I want to do is create a shortcut because the head unit has many intricate functions. I want to be able to get to them quickly. So I'm going to press the uh, the gears, touch the gears up here. And here's my favorites menu is the, the stars up here or my shortcuts. But you can see we have nothing registered. So let's register a few things in favorites. Uh, I like to adjust my subwoofer all the time. So I'm going to go to the speaker here. That's my audio adjustments. And I'm going to scroll down here until I find speaker level. We'll open that, and this is how I adjust my subwoofer output right here. So I use that all the time. So I am going to put a star beside su um, subwoofer settings, or I'm sorry, I'm going to put a star beside speaker level. There we go. That's the one I want. And now I'm going to go back to the star, and you can see that speaker level is in my favorites list. So now if I close out of these settings, and I want to adjust my subwoofer right now, I touch the gears. And we go right back to favorites, and there is speaker level. If I touch that, I can get right into and adjust my speaker level, including my subwoofer output. Now I'm going to go back up. And if I want to uh, erase things out of my favorites or rearrange the things in my favorites, just press and hold for a moment till we hear a beep. And that piece is, that item is uh, erased from my favorites, and I can put something else in there. Now from any source, I have a drop down menu for sources here. So this arrow button here, if I touch that, is my drop down menu for sources. And I have all the different sources that are available on the head unit for me. Now uh, here's my HD radio sources all the way at the bottom. But really what I want to do is put that to the top of the list. So if I touch this button over here, I can adjust this list. But look, when I touch the button, nothing happens. That means I have to engage the parking brake. Now when I engage the parking brake, I can touch that button and I get these little brackets around each of the sources. So I'm just going to press and hold on HD radio and I'm going to drag that up and I can put HD radio all the way at the top of the list. I can do that with any of the other sources as well. Uh, for example, I like Bluetooth audio. I use that one a lot. So I'll just touch it and I can drag it right up there, right underneath HD radio. Now when you're done making adjustments to this list, just touch the, the button here to switch that off and we'll choose the source and now when I hit my uh, drop down list uh, the full list is available for me again so I'm going to touch the home button here and on your head unit you might have buttons on the side we'll touch the home button we can see the source that's being played the uh, and the Bluetooth information over here now to open my full AV source list I can, first I can touch any of these or shortcuts directly to HD radio, Bluetooth audio, CD player, iPod number one, uh, USB number one, and my auxiliary input. And those are the shortcuts that I've built in there. Now if I touch the AV button here, that opens up my full list of AV sources. You can see all the available AV sources that I have. Uh, and what I would like to do is rearrange my list of shortcuts up here. So all I have to do is touch and drag some of these, um, some of the AV sources up into my shortcut list. So I'm going to press and hold, but nothing happens when I press and hold because I have to engage the parking brake. So now I'm going to engage the parking brake. When I engage the parking brake, you'll find that the AV sources move around very easy. I like to use my uh, Sirius XM, and I'll drag that up over the disc. And I like to use uh, my rear view camera all the time. So we'll switch that with auxiliary up here. And I'm also going to take my source off button and put it up here as well. Now I want to show you that we have source off and power off. These are two different things. Power off shuts down the whole system. And if you have external amplifiers or external navigation or anything else installed with the system, it will shut down all parts of it.
Uh, source off just shuts off the AV source here and puts the head unit to sleep. Uh, if you have an external navigation system installed uh, or you get phone calls, phone call will still operate, external navigation will still operate. So I'm going to take source off and drag it up here as well. So when I'm done doing that, I can choose any of those sources or I can touch the AV screen again to close it.